Hey everyone, it's Philip Hughes here, and today we're going to do a little video about OBS and uh, using MIDI to control several instances or several programs at the same time. Uh, so just for a quick demo of where we're going to, you can see on the left side of the screen we have uh, Reaper, and here on the right bottom we have OBS, which is creating a lovely tunnel right now. And what we can do with this setup is we can play into a reaper and with the keyboard we can switch the camera and this can be particularly useful in uh, live streaming setups for instance if you want to have the ability to show different camera angles without having to move away from uh, the keyboard I would usually advise having a little bit of a bigger keyboard than this but uh, whatever works for you right so how do we set this up? And this is going to be a bit of a progress uh, process, so uh, bear with me. We are going to do multiple things. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that we can send MIDI to two places, because by default a MIDI controller doesn't like it when several programs try to speak with it. So we need to arrange something so that the MIDI controller does allow this. Uh, for this we need a little program called a Loop MIDI. Very small little program you can download for free from this website. I will link it in the description. Free download, just download it and install it. Very straightforward. Once you have Loop MIDI installed, it will ask for some PC uh, permissions because it needs to create some virtual hardware. Uh, it's actually very easy to use. Uh, once you load it up, this will be entirely empty. You can basically type in a name down here. So let's say, for instance, you're using, I don't know, Ableton. You just type Ableton AU plus. And now we have another virtual MIDI uh, lane. So for my example, I have one for Reaper, OBS, Touch Designer, and Gig Performer. And these are all virtual MIDI ports. By default, this doesn't do anything. They are just uh, MIDI inputs that your programs can detect. So if I go into uh, the options of Reaper, for instance, and we go to the MIDI devices. If I can find it, there we go, MIDI devices. You will see here OBS, Reaper, uh, Touch Designer. There's a lot of uh, <laughs> things here. Uh, which one are we missing? Kick Performer. There it is. So these are all just MIDI inputs and they are also MIDI outputs. But by default they are not connected to anything. So these will not receive or transmit any MIDI. To achieve that we need a little program called MIDI AUX. And this program is uh, pr pretty old school. <laughs> you can download it from free from the Midiox website. It's a beautifully retro website. And Midiox allows you to connect uh, MIDI ports together uh, among many other things. But for this uh, application, we only require it to connect MIDI uh, together. For this, you go into the options settings and you go to MIDI devices. Your input will be your hardware MIDI controller, so in my case that's the, uh, the MPK. And the outputs will be the virtual ports you've created. So for this example I have Reaper and OBS selected. So any MIDI I transmit goes to both Reaper and OBS. Now you need to be a little bit careful with this because if you are going to use note data that means that pressing a button here will send it both to Reaper and to OBS. So you might sound of notes, so you have to be a little bit careful. Same goes with MIDI CCs. If you use a MIDI CC that's actually used in a synthesizer or drum, you run the risk of changing camera angles and triggering that MIDI uh, action. So be a little bit wary of that. If you have strange behavior, that's probably it. Next step. Uh, so now we have MIDI, which can go from this one device into several applications. Now we need to make sure that every application knows what to listen for. So in Reaper, we want to use uh, the Reaper and only the Reaper port. So make sure you have your 
MIDI in enables for Reaper. And if you want to play, you need to armor track and set the input to Reaper. And that allows you to just use the MIDI controller like you usually would. And it transmits any control. Straight to Reaper, just like it normally does. But now we also want to control um, OBS. Now OBS by default doesn't handle MIDI, uh, so you need a little plugin for this. Uh, it's called, here we go, OBS MIDI. Also linked down below. And you can download this from the GitHub page. It's just a matter of going to the go download button, which will bring you to GitHub. If you have never used GitHub, uh, this can be a little bit confusing, but you just want to click the, the Windows installer down here to download the installer and install. There are some occasions where the installer does not work. I have no idea why. Uh, if it doesn't work for you, you can also download the uh, Windows zip file. And if you download the Windows zip file, you will get this zip file with a data and an OBS plugins folder. And all you need to do is uh, paste those into your OBS folder, which is usually found in program files slash OBS studio. Copy, paste, should do the trick. Uh, make sure to restart OBS. <laughs> That's an important step as well. So once you have successfully installed OBS MIDI, hopefully, you can now go to the OBS MIDI settings. And I have a lot of devices here. Uh, usually, you only see your normal MIDI thingy and uh, the ports you've created here. I'm going to use OBS. So make sure OBS is enabled. Make sure all the other ones are disabled. OBS is enabled. And we go to configure OBS. Now I already have a few settings here, but I'm just going to ignore those. Let's make a new one. So let's say listen one. And we will press this button. Now, this MPK is set up to send CC messages over these buttons right now. Uh, it's a toggle, but it doesn't really matter. So we just press this button. OBS MIDI will detect there's a MIDI input. And OBS MIDI will ask you what to do with this MIDI input. So for instance, we can say, do a transition to camera one. And now we say, listen one again. And we press the other button. It will once again detect an input. Do transition to PC. Add. And now we can control our Reaper and control our camera angles. Um, but it can also be used for other things as well. Uh, if you use the OBS MIDI. And you go here, you can actually do uh, volume controls, mute toggles, uh, filters, pause play, everything really can be controlled with MIDI. So this is a very uh, useful tool because MIDI controls are very inexpensive. Uh, they are readily available and many people already own one. Uh, so it's a perfect way to control things and uh, especially these kind of combo keyboards where maybe you use the keys a lot but you don't really use the pads or you don't use all the pads or something it's a great opportunity to add some extra functionality to be able to switch between dedicated keyboards or dedicated door screens or maybe you have some more for a guitar or drum or whatever just a neat little trick to uh, get some uh, some extra mileage out of your midi keyboard using some free software and we all like free things so that's it for this if you have any questions you can leave them down below i don't know all the hardware and i don't know all the software so there is a chance i don't know the answer to your question but i'll try to help you out hope you found this video uh, useful and interesting if you did leave a like and a comment and i will see you around